Good morning, folks, and welcome back to the Ever and Andy Fishing Channel. I'm Andy. I'll be here. <laughs> and we've come out this morning for a little bit of perch fishing. It's the day that the clocks go back, forward. Yeah, back. So. Yeah, we, we gained one hour of sleep. <laughs> Unfortunately, we lost one hour's fishing because we didn't account for the extra yeah, hour. Yeah. <laughs> We'd planned to be there here before sunrise to catch some um, sunrise perch. Uh, yeah, we're late. <laughs> it never goes to plan. It never goes to plan. Uh, if you guys have got any fishing stories about missing the clock going back, let us know in the comment section below. We're here today to do a little challenge. We've got a few hours um, and we're going to do some wasping. And we're going to do a giveaway after that. Yep, yeah, yeah, that's the plan. So we've got a load of really cool lures to give away. But the first thing we've got to do is find out who's better at catching small perch. Ivy would say that. So the plan is we've each got to choose three small packs of lures. We've got the same jig heads each. We've got the same rods each. We'll have the same leaders each. Everything's going to be exactly the same. So we'll find out in about two and a half, three hours, who's got it when it comes to catching small perch. Let's go and get rigged up. Are fairly, fairly simple. Uh, we have the same rods, same lines, uh, similar reels. The only thing that is different is going to be the baits. Yeah, that's right. So we've got six, six different choices of baits um, that we're going to draw randomly. I'm going to flip a coin now, uh, and whoever wins the coin toss gets the first choice of baits. So we'll choose three packets each. Uh, in terms of the rules for the fishing, again, super simple about two and a half hours to fish. Um, Every perch is a point, every pike is half a point because we don't want pike while we're perch fishing. Uh, and the person with the most points at the end of the session is the greatest fisherman the winner. in our house. Which is obviously <laughs> me. Right, so, I beat heads or tails? Heads. It's a head, you get to choose first. Yes! I beat with the first choice. Yeah, good shout. Okay, fair enough. Uh, I'm going to go there. I'm going to go there. Bang it. <laughs> Not very clever. <laughs> so, baits that I've chosen. That one, because I always, always smash it on the perch. Always smash it on the perch. Um, and it's my favourite colour as well. Well, not on, the, on that bait. And I've chosen that one because if the boats go past, I might quickly change to a brighter one so the perch could see it. And the only reason I chose, I think that it's the motor oil colour, is because I wanted Andy turned up with the two of the same. Ah, geez, so losing that coin toss was bad news. Um, but actually, the selection hasn't worked out too badly. While IB's probably got the better colours, I reckon I, because I managed to get the 255 mil packets, I've managed to get the better sizes. Uh, unfortunately, I have ended up with two baits that are the same shade, and actually, of this range of baits of the 3D Fry, it's the one I like the least. But the water's very clear, it's a bright day, maybe something a little bit more translucent with a flake might be the way to go. There's only one way to find out. Let's do it. Right, all rigged up, ready to go. So, feeling confident? No. <laughs> Let's go in three, two, one. Go, 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 go! Boom, one. Number two.
I've just had to do a total wee rig. I've got to stuck on a snag. You can see I'd be there fishing away furiously behind me. Um, in truth, we're both doing very, very similar things. Obviously, all the kit is the same. We've only got a choice of three weights of jig heads. Uh, IB was super smart to come up with the idea immediately of um, cutting her baits down. That, that 65 mil bait does look big in the water, and on a tricky day like this, uh, when the water's very clear, it's very cold. Um, we had a very cold light last night. Uh, she's done exactly the right thing there. So in truth, I'm not really sure what it is I'm doing differently. Maybe fishing a little bit slower and lower, I don't know. Uh, anyway, I know there's still an hour and a half of this to go yet, and even though I've got a decent lead at the moment, she could whittle that away in minutes. That's a better one. No, it's all right. So fat. No, 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 no. So just as I thought, Ivy's come racing back into it there. Two fish in the space of five minutes and all of a sudden she cut the lead pretty much in half. Uh, snuck one more out, but since then it's been pretty hard. The wind's getting strong. It, it's a difficult day all of a sudden to fish ultralight. Um, we've got not, not got long left in the competition, so it's still all to play for. Uh, I'm not going to rest on my laurels. She's, she's still got a chance here. So I had two fish, which is not evening scorers of yet. Hopefully we get a few more. It, the wind just cranked up so it's a bit windy but I still need to win. I want to win. I want to be the best fishing person in our house. Like I can't, just not gonna have this. Andy cannot. Win. Uh oh. Uh oh.
fish these. There's a lot of fish here. Uh, they're, no, they're about halfway across. Got him. Yeah. Ah, double. Sorry about the sound quality here, folks. I'm under a bridge like a troll because we're next to a big, busy main road. Did quite well there. I've stretched out a reasonably healthy lead over IB, which I think she's going to find it hard to get back on now. There's only 15 minutes left of the challenge. Uh, in truth, I've lost count of how many fish I've had. She's still fishing away furiously, so I think I've got to do the same. No big fish yet, and that's been a bit frustrating, but I'd like to find some bigger fish, but good numbers. Uh, they've kept us busy, and I reckon for the last 20 minutes, we'll catch you. way more than Andy. Andy, how many did you have? Like three or four? Uh, I had about like 30 by now. I lost the count. Honestly, <laughs> don't know. Why are you laughing? It's because it's incredible. It's incredible how many fish you've had. Sometimes my GoPro was off when I was catching the perch. Oh, uh, okay. But that's okay. because I had to like keep changing the batteries, you know. Too, too many fish, if anything. Too many fish, if anything. Well, if you believe IB's rubbish there, you believe absolutely anything. We've got, <laughs> we're, we've got about 10 minutes to go. The scores aren't particularly even at the moment, but I tell you what, let's throw in a curveball. Biggest fish in the last 10 minutes wins the competition. Oh, okay, that's Deal. fine. Pike counts as well. Deal. Biggest fish, 10 minutes, one on one. Let's do this. Let's do this. So, last 10 minutes, 10 15 minutes, whatever, how long we have left on GoPros. Since Andy changed the rules, I might still have a chance to win, which is uh, a bit more exciting now. Boosted of the spirit. Um, hopefully I do win because I can't handle losing very well, as you might have seen in the past. If I don't catch a big fish, I'm gonna cry. To be honest, I do feel confident. The last bit of the the we saved the best for the for the last, so hopefully. The usual spots will produce a bigger perch. I've just changed my jug head to two grams um, because it's a bit deep for water and we will see how it goes. Oh! 
where it looks like that might be the winning fish for the day. It's also one of the smallest, but we've literally just run out of time, which means that this time the challenge is an AB victory. Come on! <laughs> And it's another win for AB. Way! <laughs> How do you think that went? I think that I let you win on purpose just because I don't want you to go home and cry like a baby. Well, unfortunately, all that's going to be happening at home this week is that you're going to be telling me I'm the greatest fisherman in the house every single day. You're going to enjoy that too much. <laughs> How did it go for you today? It was all right. It was all right. If I did it again, I would have done a few different things. Definitely would have brought my gloves with me because it's freezing cold. Some parts of the UK they had snow today. Because of my really cold hands and I couldn't feel anything, I was a bit lazy on changing the bait or changing the jig heads, the different sizes. So I think that had a big play in everything. Um, and yeah, just a, a bit rusty I think at the moment. I'm for, having fished for perch um, on the finesse for quite a long time now. Yeah, that's a good point actually. We haven't fished, finessed fish for a while. Just backing up what you ever said there, it was super windy today. It was howling. And I found particularly with the 0.8 and the 1.2 jig head, yeah. geez, there were times where you just totally lost touch. Like, you had no idea what's happening on that bait. Uh, which were, And that was a real problem because I found most of the takes today were really subtle. I think you said at one point you were jigging away and... Yeah, I, I, I was jigging and I could not feel anything, but I was looking in the water and when my lure was coming, all I saw was this little perch on, on the on the jacket. Yeah, I could not feel anything. It makes it a lot more <laughs> difficult to makes it a lot more difficult to catch fish when you can't actually feel that they're on the end. Yeah. On the subject of the baits and the jig heads, we've got a pretty cool competition prize for you guys. For one of you lucky viewers, um, we're going to give away all the baits and all the jig heads that we've used in today's episode. So that's six packs of the Savage Gear 3D Micro Fry and six packs of the um, Micro Dart jig heads. And it's a really, really simple competition, this one. One of my fish today was slightly bigger than the others. It wasn't a big fish, but it was slightly bigger, so I gave it a bit of a measure. Um, so the competition question that you guys need to answer in the comment section below is I want you to tell, tell us what the combined length of the fish that I caught and the lure that I caught it on was. I want you to tell us that in millimetres. That's super important because these are only tiny little fish. If, <laughs> yeah. if we did no, it in no. centimetres, it'd be too easy. So in millimetres, I've got a really good measure on that fish so I know exactly how long the fish and the bait are. So again, comment section, in millimetres, my biggest fish and the bait that caught it on combined. I think that should be pretty tricky. Okay, don't forget to subscribe. Yeah, so in order to win the competition, you're going to need to be subscribed to the channel. If you like the video, that would just be friendly. We yeah. quite like friendly people, just saying. <laughs> <laughs> and also, in the comments, if you are very, very nice and want to see us again, please let us know what video you would like to see us do next. We're an open book, aren't we? We'll always take advice from you guys. We love to experiment. So <laughs> anyway. Guys, thank you very much for watching this time. Again, like the uh, video, subscribe to the channel, and we'll catch you guys again very, very soon. Bye!